Now it is a time to understand the conservation of energy. In the previous chapter, I have told you about we have many conservation of conservation of conservation laws. In that uh, one conservation law we discussed, which is conservation of momentum, and this is the second one, conservation of energy. What conservation of energy principle says? It says that energy is neither created nor destroyed, but can change from one form to another. Energy is neither created nor destroyed, but it can change from one form to another. This is the statement of uh, principle of conservation of energy. That means how much of energy you have. If we lose the energy, we say that we lost the energy. Maybe you lost the energy, but lost energy is, uh, is mixed in the environment. So that always energy is balanced. So energy remains constant. Let me explain the statement using a example here. A ball is here. A ball is at a height h. It is at point A. This is point B. So at point A, the final velocity, suppose we can say it is a freely falling body. When I say freely falling body, it is not final. It is initial velocity. Initial velocity u equal to 0. Final velocity v is maximum. So at point A, what is the amount of energy the ball has? It should have same amount of energy at point B also. Let me prove. So at A, so first you take kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is half m v square, but v or u is 0, so kinetic energy is 0. Now coming to potential energy, it, it is the mgh, h is the height from the ground. So h is height from the ground, so this is mgh. So total energy is ke plus pe, which is mgh, total energy at point A. Now coming to point B, at point B, the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy Ke equals to half m v square because v is the final velocity. But wait here. What is v value? We should know. So to find v value, we do a little uh, calculation. See, we know that uh, v square minus u square equal to 2a s. u is 0, s is nothing but h. So I can write v square equals to 2 g h. Why I mentioned g here? Because a is g. Body is falling down. A is acceleration due to gravity. So, 2 g h. So, it's v square is 2 g h. I can supply here. So, it is nothing but half m 2 g h. 2 2 cancel. So, k is nothing but m g h. Now, take p e. The, when the ball at point B, the height is 0 because it is on the ground. Height is from the ground. But as it is on the ground, there is no height. So, it is 0. So, P is 0. So, implies the total energy is again Ke plus P mgh. So, see these two. Here the total value mgh, here also total mgh. So, wherever you go, the energy is changing. At the highest point, here you have potential energy. At the ground point, you have kinetic energy, but the total energy always constant. So that's why conservation of energy says you cannot create it, destroy it, but you can change from one form to another. Let me give you some more examples. Electric bulb. We say that we are using so much of energy to lit the electric bulb, to function of electric bulb. But here also one form of energy converts into other form. So here the electric bulb converts to Electric bulb converts electrical energy to light. Anything else? Yes, plus heat. Some sort of heat also released. That's if you touch the bulb after some time, you feel hot. Electrical bell. Here also electrical energy. Yeah, converts to yes, sound energy. Diwali cracker. 
how the crackers are made crackers are made by chemical energies so here chemical energy converts to <coughs> sound yes you heard the sound light yes you can hear the light also plus heat yes they are hot no they are hot once the bomb is blasted if you touch the bomb you feel hot when the bomb blast you can see some sparkles light and you hear sound also generators ac generators generators are the one which generates electricity so how it is possible they convert mechanical energy to electrical energy mechanical to electrical motor motor of a fan motor of a air cooler motor of any mechanical device motor does the reverse action in motor the electrical energy converts to mechanical in fans if you see there is a motor inside when it, when you switch on the fan it takes electricity the blades starts rotating the blades rotation is mechanical so like there are so many examples it tells that energy is actually is not lost it is changing from one form to the other form so far we learned about what is work what is energy how work and energy both are related and especially we learned about kinetic energy and potential energy you have given two machines these two machines are doing some x type of work the thing is the difference is machine one perform the work in one minute we have given the same work to machine two also but machine to perform the same work in one and a half minute then if i ask that which machine is the better one you will say obviously machine one why because machine one perform the work faster than the machine two so this faster or machine one is the efficient than machine two this faster efficiency depends upon their power so machine one is more powerful than machine two so here our concept is power so how do we measure the power so power is defined as amount of work done in unit time amount of work done in unit time amount of work done in unit time this is one definition one more definition is there it is the rate of energy consumed a rate of energy consumption so in that case power formula is energy by time so you have two types of formulas work by time energy by time and if you see the si unit of power it is watt w a t t in short form capital letter w james watt after his name we kept si unit for power and if, according to the formula you can write 1 watt equals to 1 joule per second because work unit is joule time is second so 1 joule per second so this is you can say 1 watt equal to 1 joule per second that's the power formula if you see the expression work by time lesser the time more the power because power time both are inversely proportional so less time more power so that's in the in the beginning the example if you see in this two this is less time that's why you have more power for the machine one if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus